It's very hard to take out something from Demon Handlock. That's why I originally just tried to play Handlock with Emperor. Because to Handlock you have more slots. Demon Handlock you need to put in like a set amount of demons. Like Malganus. Yeah, I mean, it's just about what, what's better, right? I mean, if Emperor is better, like, Solanus is good with Shadow Flame, but honestly, like, if you just count, like, something like Shadow Flame, Solanus, it might be more relevant to have Emperor, Shadow, F like, Emperor, because it's kind of hard to Shadow Flame Solanus anyways, and if you make your spells cheaper, it's much easier to combo Shadow Flame anyways, with, like, all of your other stuff. I think it's pretty reasonable. When would you keep Emperor balanced in your opening hand? Never. I never keep Emperor. You would never keep Solanus in your opening hand. I, I mean... No, I don't think there's any matchup where, you're, where you would ever keep Emperor in your opening hand. It's kind of weird because I don't have a 2-drop here to tap next turn and play like a Watcher. I think I'm probably going to Hellfire next turn. I can wait one turn and still Hellfire the Shade. Demon Lock versus Handlock, Handlock is favored. I can also Shadow Flame the 3-4. The that way I get to develop my Draxus as well as keep my Zombie Chow alive. That's actually really tempting because Shadow Flame is a way better card late game. Hellfire is better to use early game. But I think it's good. Actually, I'm going to go for it. Because one thing is I get to keep my Zombie Chow alive. The other thing is... Um, if he silences my Void Caller, I don't get the value anymore from Draxus, so... Well, if you double Integrate Emperor, you don't have any cards to get the value. I don't think that's a good thing, to double. Keep, like, double Integrate Coin Emperor. It's nowhere near as good as double Integrate Coin Cairn Bloodhoof. Because you actually have, what, zero cards after that, so what's the point of even having Emperor? Oh yeah, wait, wait, I can't believe I didn't see that. Although I am on the offensive here, I guess, so basically if I play Lothab, I don't need to lock out this spell power, I can just go face. I think I'm going to do that. If he plays a taunt, I'm not sure what will happen. Say he plays a taunt, that's yeah, probably fine. If I didn't have Hellfire, I'd probably have traded here, because if he plays a taunt, then um, I can't kill this next turn. But I can just, uh, if he basically he attacks here, gets the good trade and then drops the taunt is what I was scared of, but I can just Hellfire. So many I think I'm gonna have to Hellfire. I don't have anything else to do, it's great. I don't want to trade my Lothab in. <laughs> It's not that bad, but... I'm gonna just go ham, like, really aggressively. Because I have the Owl as well to silence this, so... Actually, that's lethal next turn if he doesn't do anything. Like, if he plays Dr. Boom or something, or Ancient Lore and draws, he's dead. Bane of Doom, like, this is kind of like a... This deck only uses demons to replace Mountain Giants with Void Callers. It's not a demon lock in the sense that, like, the mid-range demon lock with with really like synergy for demons i don't know Ban of doom generally belongs more in decks that i don't know what Ban of doom belongs in i've seen it mostly in mid-range though like the ones with like power roaming and abusive and eggs and stuff like that Time waits for no one. where shall i start? No, I can't kill him anymore. I wonder if that's right. Maybe it's better to have trade a Lothab in plus the Draxus and kept this as a 4 or 5 because of swipe. But it's so much worse. I'm not sure. This doesn't seem that with the swipe as well, with this being a 5 2. Elvenstein, thanks for subbing. 
Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here's a crow that's... Rag over Draxus, you, you can't, you can, you can play Rag over Draxus in a, in a normal handlock deck. I've seen some people play, but there's no way you can take out Rag for Draxus in a demon handlock. I mean, you, you only have five demons. And you're even using like a kind of like a subpar demon in Dread Infernal. So there's no way you can actually take out the best demons, Draxus and Malganus. Well, I've only played this deck twice, or three times so far with that burn set of Solanus, and it hasn't mattered yet in, in any of the games. I don't think I've ever played. I don't know, it, it hasn't really mattered at all yet. My eyes are open. I am kind of missing a tap this way, but I get to develop a 3-3 at fights. I could tap this turn and if I don't hit a giant, um, I mean, don't hit a 4 drop, I can tap and play Watcher, but I think this is better. If he just unstealths, I can Smoral Coil, um, otherwise I can still tap and Watcher. Or if he attacks me, I can Dark Bomb plus Smoral Coil as well, so there's a lot of things I can do. Picking up the Owl means that I definitely play the Watcher compared to the Zombie Chow, because I can silence it if I need to. Like, if it just does nothing here, I'll probably just play Belcher, but... Wait a minute, is that even right? That's not right either. Even if he does nothing, it's better for me to play so Owl and Zombie things. Chow and tap. So I get an extra tap in, I get to have um, more, I guess like more power on board. Also get to save the Belcher for later when I need to taunt more. Did it matter a lot in that mage game? Oh yeah it did actually, the Emperor helped me a lot because it enabled a lot of like, that whole, those, all those like turns where I did that, those crazy moves was enabled by Emperor. It, yeah, I mean, I, my intuition says it's way better. So I put Emperor, not Sylvanas. Okay, so I guess. My two moves I'm thinking of are either Sludge Belcher and then trade these two into Emperor and Marble Coil or just trade these two and play Dread Infernal. I think at this point it might be better Belcher. It's basically the same except I have a Belcher instead of a 6-6. Yeah, I think I like it more at this point. I also kind of want to cycle a little bit. Two Belchers as well. And this is my only demon right now, so if I top deck on Void Caller, I have a Dread Infernal. I have BJ for Dr. Boon this turn if he plays it. Also, at this point, like I get to protect my Watcher from this guy. <laughs> Even if I get BJ, I think the Boom Bots are going to do good work here. Like if he trades here, this will be kind of low for boom bots. Molly Pop, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. He is a protest. He can't swipe, right? I've got the beast in my side. Yeah, because Simper only started one turn, so swipe would be three mana. Alright, start by tapping. Probably better than the Twilight Drake. If I miss the BJ from Dark Ball in it, I think I uh, just try go for it though. It sucks if I go for it and get a 1, but... I 
I guess I'm definitely dead to combo if he can combo here. Twelve plus eleven is twenty-three, so that's perfect. Using shapeshift to kill the slime. I have no time for games. It'll probably get worse and worse for me as well. Alright. I think I have to just go all in. I can't even make Solana's not steal anything because of the death rattle here. I must save Oh, I've never played Yu Gi Oh, so I'm not sure. But it takes more skill. <laughs> Wait, he swiped the Belchers. And then. Attacked it with Solanus. That's weird. I think I'm gonna have tap. It's not looking good for me. Nah, well. It's not great for me to do this. I mean, if you manage to steal on Melganus, I can be J-Chip, but that doesn't, like, stop him from killing me. Because it's not the Sylvanas that's mostly threatening me, it's like the Shade as well. Melganus doesn't seem so bad here either. Bizarre used BGH. I think it's a kind of feel like I need a tap, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how I can win this game. No Hasn't used any bursts as well either. 517 is way too hard for me to deal with. Like 315 I could maybe deal with just by ignoring it. It's not as big. Now this is uh, out of control as well. I won't be able to shout them down, Drax, there's no way. So many I can shout flame for basically like 7 uh, with the Dread Infernal. It's not going to do anything though. I'm gonna shout from Void Caller, that's not gonna do anything either. I'm gonna tap. I've got the beast in my side. I see. I feel like um maybe save the owl. I must safeguard the land. <laughs> Hmm, doesn't really help. I got Hellfire and then Molten Shadow Flame. There's no point. If this was like a 511, maybe I could do that. TL5, 6, and then the Shredder's Death Rattle on board if I play that. If I just Molten Molten Taunt, then... That's a little bit better, but... I'm not sure. Either way, it's bad. I'm probably dead either way. That seemed really weird. Can I kill him? I don't think I can. Alright, well I can attack here, Shadow Flame, and then play Emperor or something. I'm 
I give him a Shaflin, it's not as bad as Hellfire, I'm probably still dead. Because Hellfire does damage, I'd rather give him a Hellfire than Shaflin than Hellfire. Seemed kind of weird though, that he couldn't kill me last turn. If I had a second Owl in my deck, I would have just tapped for Owl to sign Spell to kill him, but I don't. I don't know what I could have gotten. I have to tap into my other Sun Fury, I think. So many possibilities. <laughs> okay, I think I'm dead. Hellfire Drunfernal, I, I'm at two after the Hellfire Drunfernal. Every any, anything that kills me kills me anyways with the Drake because I'm at six with the Drake, but leading up with four four whereas I'm at two. There's like no difference as far as dying, except that I get to play a stronger board because that way I get to have the um, Void Caller out to cheat out the Drain Infernal for tempo. I pretty much died at everything like anything that does damage. Any charger or keeper or swipe or whatever, no matter what. So I think my better chance is tapping for a sun fear protector. I think I can get away with a double hellfire against Paladin. With two Twilight Drakes, I think I'm better off increasing my hand size over the Mortal Coil here. Reporting for duty. I think Void Caller is better with the Dread Infernal. It's way less with the Owl. When he has a whole bunch of 1-1s one here, um, the Owl just kind of wrecks this guy, or I mean this guy. I'm probably setting up for Hellfire next turn because I, I need a Hellfire before Quartermaster. So I still have one more turn. I, I think I like just playing this first. So I'm definitely Hellfire and the question is whether I go face here or suicide with the Hellfire to get out Malganus or Dread Infernal. I mean the thing is he has this one Lights Justice, so if he wants to get it, get my demon out, he can do it anyways by just attacking it. And then if he has like BJH or Aller Peacekeeper, he can do that anyways. But so I'm actually thinking of just killing my own guy because it's trivial for him to kill 3 1 anyways. And um, if he plays like Belcher, I'd rather have one of these guys out to, to fight the Yeah, I think that makes sense. I would not have done it, I would not have attacked if he didn't have Lights Justice out. Basically, if he, if he has the Aller BJH kind of thing, he can he can kill my guy anyways. Follow the rule. Although, there's like a reason why not to maybe, because if he has like only one out there, one BJH, he doesn't know what's going to come out, and then maybe he can't kill it, kill my guy. Not too sure. Even this track can see may maybe just uh, not using the Mortal Coil. It's really good against Paladin. And just punching it. Especially with Emperor. It it's like free later on. Yeah, like it seems like it would have been a lot better not to use it. Oh wait, it doesn't make a difference actually. I can just kill the Belcher. I think I have to taunt up here. It's not too reliable to just get low against Paladin, like play Emperor, because they, they 
they can't have equality consecrate potentially. Um, they can just get you low, wait till you force them to do that, and then because this doesn't force anything, I think you can just keep going face until I make a taunter. The reason why I didn't try Drake, some fear I think that's too weak to call it consecrate. Wow, but bad trade for him. Looks like he doesn't have consecrate. Me think. Put your faith in the light. <laughs> Top deck. I actually have this Malganus buff this up to a 3-4. I don't think that's good though. Because Ash Murder is gonna kill me if I don't if I, I don't wonder. silence it. I'll probably get away with a tap here. So I have to silence the four more mana. I go Twilight Drake Sun Fury. That's much weaker to equality consecrate than playing Belcher, I think. Hmm. No, I, I'm too weak, actually. I need to play this. I want to keep my Emperor alive, uh, take the, like the probably worst trade, but I get another turn of this. Think. <sighs> Still hasn't used Big Game Hunter yet. I'm scared of Malganus on the big game hunter. Although I, I do want to get my free tap. That's the only reason I'm considering it. Otherwise, I'm going to play Belcher. I think I'm going to tap just to take the damage. There's no point in playing Watcher at all. It just dies Consecrate. I only have one more Owl. I mean, zero more Owls. If I had another owl I, I maybe want to play it so I can attack next turn with it but say I want to Argus it or Sun Fury I can just play it for zero mana any turn I want with the combo so there's, there's literally no reason why I, I should play a watcher here Reporting for duty. wow that's makes it awkward for me because of what he did just nothing Almost makes me feel like it's a second equality consecrate. I don't think I can hold back though, because I need a tap. Oh, perfect. If I had Draxus this turn, he would have lost the game 100%, because I could just Draxus and he loses. I'm throwing MC tech as well. I don't think these are useful. I've got the beast in my side. I see you. Reporting for duty. He's dead. You face Duraxus, and our lord of the burning legion. I don't have any value from the demon, but I, I need to I wanna get this guy going. Uh, excuse me. To the void. Uh, excuse me. I think the Belcher is too valuable, like it saves me life this way in the long run compared to um, using it to punch the big game hunter. So I can just trade. I guess I can clear the whole board. Hellfire doesn't do anything, I still take the 3 damage. The only thing damaging me is the Elder Peacekeeper if I trade like this, so I might as well.
the only point in playing the washer here is to have a chance to get stolen from NC Tech. So there's actually a reason why to play Watcher here. I get a feeling this not mattering that much, but maybe. I have lethal. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18. I'm gonna bloat the board here, I think. I should have suicided the load then. I don't think he can kill me, but I'm basically trying to play around juggles at this point. We'll just see though. Oh, did I miss Lethal of Dr. Grim Hellfire? Well uh... Okay, so it's, I almost certainly had Lethal. It's basically I need to do 3 damage with the Bimbots, and all the Bimbots guarantee going to face that way. Basically, I trade my Mount Molten Giant, his, my 1-5 Giant, into the Harrison. And then Hellfire. The Harrison dies. I'm mean, play Doctor Boom. Then Hellfire. Harrison dies. He's at three. So I basically need to do three damage. Oh, that's so annoying. I was gonna just wreck him with Draxus soon.